Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take the Laplace transform of derivatives. Well, let's start with the first derivative because of course that's the easiest one. And the equation is as follows. The Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function is equal to s times the Laplace transform of the function minus the function evaluated at zero. So that's the equation you use. You can simply just plug it in and use the equation. We'll show you an example at a later video. But first we need to figure out how is that equation established? Well, let's start with the basic definition of the Laplace transform. We know that the Laplace transform of a function, in this case f prime of t, can be written as the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times the function, which in this case is the derivative f prime of t dt. So how do we integrate that? Well, we can integrate that using the technique integration by parts. We know that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And in this case, if we let u equals e to the minus st, then du would be equal to minus s e to the minus st. And if we let dv equal f prime of t, then we know that v is equal to f of t. Simply the integral of f prime is f. If we then plug that in here, notice that this here, e to the minus st, was equal to u, and this portion right here was equal to dv. Oop, dv, like that. And we know that this can be written as an integral of u times dv, which of course, this is going to be the Laplace transform of f prime of t, can be written as u times dv, which is equal to u times v. Now u is equal to e to the minus st, and v can be written as the function of t. And of course, we have to evaluate this from 0 to infinity, minus the integral of v du, which is the function with respect to t, and du is going to be a minus s times e to the minus st, and again from 0 to infinity. So let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit and evaluate it. So we can see here that the Laplace transform of the derivative, the first derivative of a function, is equal to this. When we plug in the upper limit, we get e to the minus infinity. Now e to the minus infinity is equal to zero, no matter what the function is equal to. So this becomes zero, and then when I plug in the lower limit, e to the zero is one, and f evaluated at t equals zero, we can simply write it as minus f of zero. A minus times a minus becomes plus, this would be plus s times the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st, and of course I forgot my dt here, e to the minus st, times the function of t times dt. Now notice this portion right here is simply the equation of the Laplace transform of the function of t, which means that I could put an equal sign there so I can write that the Laplace transform of the first derivative of the function of t is equal to, here I can write s times this here is simply the Laplace transform of the function minus the function evaluated at zero. And notice that this is, of course, the exact same thing that we got right there in the beginning. That's how we came up with this equation for the Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function, simply by using the integration by part technique to write it in that particular format. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you an example of how to actually use that equation to solve for the Laplace transform of a first derivative.